welcome to Seeing Through Glass, and welcome back to the UK, and welcome back to my Ferrari 360. Now a quick thanks to all of you who've been following my adventures the last couple of weeks, down to Monaco, across to LA. I really appreciate all the views and all the feedback, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed the content over the last month or so, and of course, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Now since collecting this car last October, I've added 6,000 miles to the clock. I don't think that's bad going because this car averaged 1,500 miles per year for the 15 years before I bought it. I'm not scared of adding more miles to this thing. I think in fact it actually works better the more I use it. However, with big mileage and especially the road trips down to Italy and Monaco comes wear and tear. So in this video, not only am I going to be telling you my plans for this car over the next few months, but I'm also going to give it some tender loving care. It's fresh rubber day. It's tight. Day. Okay, welcome to the Pirelli Performance Center and welcome to tire expert Jonathan Benson from Tire Review Fame. Fa fame? Yeah. Fa fame. 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 I'm, I'm the fame. tire geek. There's only the one in the country. Yeah. <laughs> He's also my tire geek yeah. for this video. But you also helped me film the epic Jamie Chadwick yep. catering versus go kart video. We were in LA together. We were in LA, we held hands. It's yeah, been a great nice. journey so far. We did the Porsche drive in LA. We, we did, did indeed. Yeah, that was lovely. So, anyway, the reason that Benson is here is because the actual tires that have been on my 360 for the last six months, the same tires that I've done 6,000 miles in and <laughs> had, are quite old. Um, we're about to find out exactly how old. As you can see, the car's already on, on I hope. <laughs> the car was on a ramp. <laughs> the car was on a ramp. Just fell off. Um, literally, I turned up here and the guys have already just grabbed the car from me. There's amazing things happening behind me. But essentially, uh, when I bought the car from Ave Engineering, and you picked up on this, yeah. they said to me, look, the tyres are really old. They're not particularly worn, but they're very old. And I remember you texting me, like my first video, being like, dude, get fresh up. Yeah, I mean, tyres have a, a usable age, and it's normally about five years. And no one really says exactly how long, but like the kind of industry okay is five years. It's five and, years. And that they're not five years. <laughs> they look like they're from the 40s. Yes, they literally <laughs> do. So we're going to find out as soon as the wheels come off, we'll have a little look and, and an analyse. But the reason I didn't change them straight away when I bought the car is I, at the time, was always planning to swap my wheels for the larger Challenge Stradale wheels. The, the better the, the Challenge. Arguably the better looking 19 inch Challenge Stradale wheels. And so I was like, why am I going to go and buy a fresh set of rubber when I'm about to change these rims out? However, that was six months or so ago. And. Uh, please don't hit me. Uh, <laughs> I have very recently decided that I will not be changing my wheels to the Challenge Stradale wheels. I think you should let your audience no, no, this. no, don't, because I know what I'm going to say. <laughs> Basically, I mentioned it a bit in my Tubi exhaust review in Monaco. I love how stock, how factory OEM that car is. It rolled out of the factory, looking like that, and probably with those tyres in 2002. <laughs> You just came back from America where one of the things you were so excited about was how much modifications people do to their cars so they don't look like their factory. So mm. Yes, but, uh, but, but it's a Ferrari is factory, yeah, and, okay, and okay. Chateau Dali is factory. That's it. I don't yeah. want to go and buy like, you know, Herman wheels if they exist, but Khan. you know, car <laughs> wheels. I, I, I want for but for now, for the foreseeable future, I'm gonna keep the wheels that I've got at the moment. And that's why I'm here today, because the second thing I found out, not only that I had old rubber, but getting fresh rubber for a 360 Modena, very tricky to do. You were the first yeah. person I called. And I, I like, did my research and I went into Europe and I looked at all over the place, getting matching sets of York, because they're quite odd tie sizes. Really odd very tire narrow sizes. front. You've got a 215 wide front, which is tiny, and then a 27 watt 5. For my power! Yeah, for power! My, yeah. It's mid-engine, so it's not totally unusual, but it's because they're on 18 inch wheels. People don't People don't make those tire sizes anymore. So well, that's the thing is that the the car is actually offered from factory with three different tire options. My car from factory has always had Pirelli, so I have a little plaque inside the passenger door which told me that I always have Pirelli, and that's what's on now. And the reason I'm here is Pirelli are basically the only manufacturer left still making 360 tires. If you want Ferrari mark, yeah, which I did, yeah, which came from factory. Pirelli's pretty much. I think Bridgestone might have a tire somewhere in the channel. Okay, but it might be hard to find. You could have gone to another manufacturer um, sure. that wouldn't offer a tire that hasn't been developed in conjunction with Ferrari. And I think for a car like this, it's an important thing to have. Uh, and the Pirelli's the tire to go for. Well, that's exactly it. So we are here, finally getting fresh rubber, about to find out how dangerous my driving's been the last six months with the 
old tyres that are on, are uh, going to get some fresh ones, and once we've done that, I will update you on my few other plans and moves with the 360. Who else? So here are the fresh tyres that are going to be fitted to my car. As I mentioned briefly, the reason I'm coming here is these are essentially the same homologation, the same tyres that were fitted to my car back in 2002. Not the exact same tyres, these ones were made just a few weeks ago, 2018 spec. We've got the front tyres up here, these are called the Directionale, Direction no tyres. <laughs> I can't pronounce my Italian any better than I could ever. Uh, and then on the back we've got these asymmetric tyres or asymmetrical tyres. The reason that they're different between uh, directional and asymmetrical is the front tyres are aimed to sort of disperse water. You can see the tread pattern here. So that's to push the water away from the front and then obviously a rear wheel drive car I've got to get all the traction down in the back. So we've got an asymmetrical pattern there so we can go with the big old rear tyre. So yes, fresh rubber. This may transform my driving experience of my car. The wheels are now off my car. My car looks so weird, it's like a floating body there. But it means we can finally analyse how old this rubber actually is. This is a front tyre, ladies and gentlemen, from 2010. Yes, eight year old tyres were on my car. I mean, what was I thinking driving these for 6,000 miles? What, was the, what were the previous owners thinking? I wanted to be like, the car feels different already. <laughs> but it feels exactly the it same. It feels exactly the same, but we've got fresh tires. Oh, I got tire squeal. Tire squeal. That's new. Oh, oh god, oh, this is <laughs> It is really a horrible. Oh, I mean, no. this is welcome back to the UK. Do a drift. No. no. <laughs> As if I knew how to do that. Um, hang around with. Oh, this is the other problem with harnesses. Oh yeah, you can't reach that uh, piece of paper. What side of the road do we drive on? Left. Uh, left. Dude, thank you very much. <laughs> I'll take you seriously with that. <laughs> right, now that Benson is gone, we can tie up the tyre section of this video. Once again, a huge thanks to him and a huge thanks to Pirelli for helping me out with some fresh rubber for the 360. We've also tied up the wheel situation. I clarified that I'm keeping the standard 360 wheel on the car for the foreseeable future. I also want to clear up what's happening with the exhaust because anyone that watched my Tubi exhaust review down in Monaco will know that I was saying that I might not keep the system on my car permanently. It was kind of like a temporary solution for the Monaco trip. Well, I have decided that I am actually going to be taking it off. Um, so it will be a temporary fix. As soon as I can get this car booked into AV, I'm in no big rush. I will take the Tubi system off, look to sell it, and refit the stock 360 system. As awesome as this Tubi style system is, it's got a lovely tone, but it's just not that that iconic 360 tone I associate with, the sort of really barky, shouty tone, which I was getting from the stock system, albeit a little bit quieter, it was still there. And the Stradalicism that I always bang on about is that sound turned up to 11 or 12, and that's kind of what I want to capture. Now, interestingly, uh, a few custom exhaust companies have got in touch and have offered to build sort of, you know, challenge Stradali replica exhaust. So I might look into that because the Stradale exhaust seems incredibly rare and hard to find. So anyway, we'll see. But yeah, Tubi will be coming off at some point over the spring. And then finally, the last modification that I really ever talked about was this steering wheel. And that's going to be the only modification that I do. This is getting re-upholstered. I've been incredibly lazy about getting it done, but it will be done. I don't want Alcantara. Loads of you very kindly have been sending me recommendations of how to repair this manky Alcantara, but I don't want an Alcantara steering wheel. I want a leather one. There's nothing else in this car that's Alcantara, so leather it will be. So that is going to be getting done. So when I bought this car for the last 
however long, five or six months, I've been banging on about, oh, I'm gonna get the wheels done, get the exhaust done, and reupholster the steering wheel, and instead, I'm not getting the wheels done, not getting the exhaust done. I put some tires on, something I've never talked about, and I'm finally gonna be doing the reupholstering of the steering wheel. A bit backwards, I will admit, but anyway, my love story and my adventures with this car continue. 31,367 miles on the clock to date. I think plenty of room to add more to that, whether that's in the next few months or later this year, we will see. I hope you've enjoyed this update video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure you're subscribed for plenty more videos to come.